Automation is being viewed as increasingly strategic by business executives. A prominent example can be seen in the form of robotic process automation, RPA. Despite the pandemic, RPA continues to show strong growth in the market. And that's really confirmed in the survey data from our partner, ETR. Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante, and welcome to this special presentation from the CUBE team with support from UiPath. Earlier this month, UiPath had a big launch event, and today we're going to provide some perspective and analysis of the market. We're also going to interview some of the UiPath execs to get a better understanding of the market trends and the competitive environment. Let me lay out the, the program. It's going to start with my independent, unsponsored, breaking analysis segment. This is pure editorial. In this first video, we're going to discuss some of the RPA challenges and early issues that customers had with RPA. And we're going to update you on the market, we're going to look at the latest ETR spending data, we have some comments on the competition, and we're particularly going to focus on, of course, UiPath, but also Automation Anywhere, Blue Prism, and we even have some thoughts on Pegasystems. Now you can go to wikibon.com and read the full analysis of that breaking analysis. It's also on siliconangle.com if you really want more details on this data. After that, we have four UiPath execs that we interview, including the CMO, Bobby Patrick, Ted Kumert, their new head of products. He's going to talk to us about software development and platform architectures. And then we also interview Tarek Madkor about RPA in the cloud. And then we're going to close with Brandon Knott. And I'm going to push Brandon a little bit on how much of that UiPath vision, i.e. a robot for every person, how much of that is real, how much of that is marketing hype, and what can we expect going forward in terms of that adoption. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoy the program. <laughs> 